Hi there, today we're gonna be taking a look at Tiny1021H2 Beta 2. This release doesn't bring in a lot of new features, it's more intended as a quality of life release and it's also more like a Beta 1.5 than anything else. But it does have some pretty useful and requested features, so without further ado, let's take a look. So first of all, I have updated the base OS to the latest cumulative update, which is 1904.4.1586. This means that we are on the latest March update. As you can see, the whole layout is exactly the same, nothing got removed, nothing got changed. As I said, this update is more of a quality of life release than anything else. Now, if you are opening Explorer, you can see that we are using about the same. So, as you can see, we are using about 2.5 GB, which is about the same as before. Not a huge difference there. Um, another huge update and a really important one is the fact that we can now do in place updates. So, if you are using the older beta of Time 10 or if you are using earlier versions like 8009, you can now upgrade them to the latest version. Also, this will probably be the way that one can install updates the OS. As for the known issues, there is an issue with the on-screen keyboard. As you can see, it doesn't work. I know about this and I'm trying to fix it. The getting ready screen is missing in this release and I've heard that Hyper-V Zone 1 VMs do tend to crash. So that's pretty much it. Consider subscribing and bye bye.